So what do you think are some non-traditional employment opportunities for students who may go through your program, complete your program? Um, is it something that they can do freelance, start their own business, write a business plan? Um, what are just some of those non-traditional employment opportunities at this point, since we're all dealing with COVID-19 and right. social distancing? Right. Well, well um, I have one student, I'll use her as an example. She moved down from Canada. And before she moved from Canada, she knew a couple of restaurants, she was really into hockey. I think Canadians are really, they love their hockey. Right, so, right. Um, there was a particular restaurant, she got to know the manager, she shared what she was good at, she understands Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator really well. So when she came into marketing um, and going through the program, I said, you know, I said, you're really good with graphic designs and um, why don't you communicate back to your man, this manager that you know well in Canada and see if you can be of service. Well, she actually started designing his menu. So every season he changes the cover of his menu. So she, online, this is all online. She does it here in Florida and she's helping him out there in Canada. Um, I have another student who is a blogger, but this is so great because she loves fashion and she, she actually blogs on the fashions uh, that she bought, where she bought it, and she developed such a following, and her pictures were very classy. Mm -hmm. They were very professionally done, and of the, of the fashions she wore from that store or boutique, that it caught on. Now she gets paid for blogging her fashion, the boutique's fashion. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there, I mean, I love um, organizations that uh, have a purpose, and um, one organization, it's, in, it's up in uh, Claremont, and it's the um, Special Olympics. Currently, they're looking for a communications director. That's going to, but, but I would think um, to investigate into an organization that you like and see what's available to work at home, maybe as an apprentice. Um, but that one in particular, they're looking for a communications director. So if someone is really feels confident with their communication skills, their writing skills, their knowledge of social media, then they should pursue that um, and probably work from home at the moment until they're able to, you know, open up, you know, society again. So <laughs> right. social media is really, really where it's going right now. I mean, I have students that are working in restaurants, they're working in the supermarkets, and there are businesses that are open. Mm -hmm. But for those that are home, find what you're passionate about. One of my students this year, I've seen her pictures. She's an excellent photographer, landscape photography. And I've already have two pictures I have requested from her collection, but great work. So her business is going to be an online business selling images from the heart. And her landscape pictures, they're absolutely gorgeous. This is something that she's going to... Um, move in that direction. So I think what you can do is just find your passion. You know, what are you good at right now? Um, if you like working with plants, getting outdoors is great, you know, and uh, helping a landscaping company, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, with their landscaping. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to find out what you're good at. And again, yeah, we are inside right now, but you know what? It's going to open up pretty soon. And when right, it right. does, and when it does, be ready. Right, right. And what I'm hearing is that your program actually, it seems like that it can prepare them for a multitude of industries. Let's say if they are a photographer, but they want to learn how to market and how to kind of create that business, then your program will kind of teach them the foundations of that so they can have a passion Right. But your program takes it a step further where it's teaching them how to actually be the business professional. Exactly. And how to promote, you know, really. You just can't build it and they will come. You have to build it and promote it. And, right, and then right. manage it, you know, manage it. So, um, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a great program. <laughs> it really is a great program. I have a lot of fun teaching it because it's, it's valuable for wherever a student's going to go. Right, right. And so our last our last question, and we're wrapping it, wrapping it up, um, and I think you may have touched on this a little bit, but 
some specific tips or any do's and don'ts for earning side income during um, this time. If you are an entrepreneur or um, looking to help someone market, any particular tips or do's and don'ts that you can offer? Well, I think you, what you want to do is don't misrepresent, don't misrepresent yourself. Really important. Mm -hmm. um, don't do that. And then um, if you're going to use social media, you don't, you want to use caution if you're tagging photos on social media. Um, I would say, um, you know, and again, if you're on social media, limit your posts to what's important. And, uh, you know, just, uh, I would say at this point, um, this is a good time. You analyze your strengths. Right, you know, right, right. Analysis that we talk about. Analyze your strengths and stop, you know, focus on them. Um, analyze your weaknesses and stop, you know, how can I make them stronger? Look at the opportunities. Opportunities are out there and there's going to be even more um, mm -hmm. as we go forward. And then just uh, watch out for any threats that, uh, you know, could stop you from moving forward. Right, right, right. Well, that was some great information, Ms. Houston. We, we, we so much appreciate your time and you being willing to um, conduct an interview with us. And that was great information for students who are currently enrolled and for students who are um, thinking of enrolling, potential students. So they have a little bit more of a, um, a peek inside your program, inside the marketing management and entrepreneurial principles program. Um, and for those who would like more information, you can go to our website at www.orangetechcollege.net. Um, we have an admissions tab and you can click request information and you can select Miss Houston's, uh, Houston's program, uh, Marketing Management and Entrepreneur Principles, if you would like more information. So once again, Miss Houston, thank you for joining us today and we appreciate having you. Well, it was my pleasure, and thanks again for inviting me. Hey, stay safe out there. <laughs>